My name is TJ Owens, and my movie is Nest Egg. So imagine a world where the nation's economy is in a depression, and where government handouts and bailouts just go to presidents and CEOs, and it just goes right into their pocket. We're getting a higher education is only for the rich and upper class. My main character is Alexander. He is a white male that lives in the suburbs and his parents lost everything after the depression. Uh, Penny is his mother and Richard is his father. Troy is his supplier and Mary is his best friend. Alexander will be played by Josh Hutcherson who was a main character in The Hunger Games. I believe that he would be a really good character for just the high school setting, just because of the age group that he reaches to. Penny and Richard are his mother and father. Their ages are pretty close to what his parents could be. And it also reaches to a higher age group, like a parent. Troy and Mary will be played by Shia LaBeouf and Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift reaches to a younger audience and Shia LaBeouf also is just a younger audience and they're both great actors. And it would be Taylor Swift's opening role like on a live screenplay. So it could be a potential start. Uh, goals for Alexander, getting a secondary education and obtaining financial security for his family. He will do anything to get what he wants and he wants his education so that he can decriminalize the nation's economy and he can get back what was given out illegal, given out and obtained illegally. Purpose for Alexander's goals, he wants to get back what Penny and Richard lost after the nation's economy went into a depression. He blames the government for not taking the right initiatives for to fix the economy and believes that he can fix it himself. Alexander's roadblocks. Alexander really doesn't get high enough grades in school and his test scores are really low. He needs a way to make money really fast and in a short period of time since it is his senior year. Alexander turns to selling drugs. The demand for the drugs in his high school are high and there are few dealers in the local area. Alexander sees this as an opportunity to make quick, fast money and to pay for school. What's at stake? Alexander's freedom, integrity, and future. If he gets caught, jail, time, and the odds of being denied a college education are very high. Will selling drugs change the way his peers view him? Probably. Resolution, after Alexander raises the money to get into school, he gets greedy. The money is too good and he can't stop. He lost sight of what his goals were, and continuing on this path would lead him into jail. His last true friend intervenes and shows him how greed has overcome his life. The ending, Alexander stops selling and goes to college to study political science. After a few years go by, it flash forwards, and Alexander is giving an acceptance speech and hugging an older Mary. The audience, age groups would be teens through middle-aged adults. Why would they see it? Teens would see this movie because it focuses on their age groups, and adults would also see it because they're parents to the same age groups. But it's also filled with lots of action and deals with the economy, and it shows the main focuses of today. What sets Nest Egg apart from others? Nest Egg is in first person and it shows what Alexander is thinking and it shows what Alexander sees in a day to day life. Paper to big screen, Nest Egg will be a great movie because readers and viewers would be able to connect with Alexander. The situations that Alexander is put in would make the movie successful and push the audience to the edge of their seats. Statistics, similar movies like Limitless, Low and Jump Street made significant earnings on pretty substantially low budgets. And thank you for your time.